God and Christianity, I would like to clarify a few points. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is that most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Most of them believe that he claimed divinity. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says worship me. I would like to repeat that there is not a single unequivocal statement not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or why he says worship me. If any Christian can point out a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or why he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. I am not speaking on behalf of my other brothers. I am a student of comparative religion. I've read the Bible. In fact, if you read the Bible, it's clearly mentioned. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, My father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29. My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28. I cast out devil with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God, cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of the Father, the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never claimed divinity. In fact, it's clearly mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 20. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. And until the heaven and the earth pass away, not one jot or tittle shall pass away from the law, and shall pass away from the law until all be fulfilled. And whosoever shall break one of the least commandments, and teach men to do so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall keep the commandments and teach the same will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that if you want to enter Jannah, if you want to go to paradise, you have to be better than the scribes and the Pharisees. You have to be better than the Jews. You have to follow each and every commandment of the Old Testament. Whatever Moses, peace be upon him, said, that there's one God, he has got no images, they have to follow all of them. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he never claimed divinity. In fact, he said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 24, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, the words that you hear are not mine, but my father's who has sent me. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 3, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, this is life eternal, so that you may know there is one God, and... Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. Once, when a person approached Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 and 17, a man approached Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and asked him, Good master, what good things should I do so that I shall enter eternal life? So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Why thou callest me good? There is only one good, and that is the Father in heaven. And if you want to enter eternal life, if you want to go to Jannah, if you want to enter paradise, you keep the commandments. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never said that if you want to go to Jannah, you believe that I'm God. He never said that you believe that I died for your sins on the cross. In fact, he said, if you want to enter Jannah, 
if you want to enter paradise, you keep the commandments. It's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. It says, ye men of Israel, listen, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. And when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was asked, that which is the first of commandments, he repeated verbatim what was said by Moses, peace be upon him, earlier. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, Shema Israelo, Adnan Hainu Adnan Khad. It's a Hebrew quotation which means, Yoro Israel, the Lord, our God is one Lord. So if you read the Bible, if you read this Christian scriptures, you should understand the concept of God in Christianity and understand Christianity in the right perspective. Good evening, sir. My name is Simi. My question is, why are the, are the ladies not allowed to divorce their husbands in Islam?